Oh, I got you guys something. Thanks, Dad. It's beautiful. Gee, thanks, Dad. An iPod. What am I supposed to do with an iPod? We don't even have a computer. Well, you might try using the Compass app on there, you know, if my bike ever crashes and uh, you, your sister, and a polar bear have to come find me. Chip and I went biking nearly 80 meters from the house today. Ooh, 80 meters. Excuse me while I call City TV. His dad says I'm really developed for my age. That's great, honey. You know, we should go walking one day. What is wrong with you guys? Don't start. Dad, you used to ride a two-wheeler. Now you ride a three-wheeler. Boy, you better hope this phone rings before I finish this sentence or else I'm going to kick your... Hello? Hi, Charlie. Uh-huh. Just get the test answers for that kid and I'll meet you by the bike racks in 15 minutes. Bye. Sorry guys, I gotta make an emergency run to the north end. But Dad, it's gonna storm, and the north end is a dangerous part of town. I'll be right, Pumpkin. It'll take a lot more than rain, thunder, fog, lightning, and a possible gun-toting maniac to even crash on a dirt hill in the middle of nowhere. Maybe I won't be here when you get back. Maybe I'll buy myself a one-way ticket back to the youth emergency shelter. Sean, first of all, I've already called them to take you back. And secondly, I don't have time for this. Mom would have had time. Mom wouldn't have moved us off the street in the first place. Stop it, Sean! No! None of this would be happening if Mom was still here. None of this! But Sean, she's not here. And nothing that you or any of us can do will change that. Dad, weren't you supposed to make, like, an emergency delivery or something? Oh, yeah. I was just thinking of what to say next. Uh, it's not often that you get to have a monologue in a film right before the writer decides to throw a last-minute plot device into the film to help tie up loose ends, which in turn only leads to more plot holes. Well, I got one. I wish that you had ridden a bike off a cliff, not Mom. Man, I should have thought of that one. Oh, well. Jesse, I'll be taking the road over there. I'll uh, call you by 9 tonight, sharp. But Dad, aren't you going to discipline him or something? I mean, that was a pretty mean-spirited thing to say. Oh, that? It's probably just this time of the month. You know how girls get with them around then. Dad, Sean's a guy. Excuse me? You didn't know? Of course I didn't know. How did you know that and I didn't? Well, weren't you there when he was born? No, I just showed up and everything was done. Well, what about his diapers? Didn't you have to change them or anything? Uh, no, my... your mother handled all that stuff. But what about the birds and the bees talk? Didn't you have that with them? No, I assumed his mother had that talk with her. I mean, him. Or whatever. Dad, I really don't know how you didn't know any of this. I know. This is almost as bad as that time I realized America was in Iraq solely for the oil. Dad, this isn't family guy. What? You can't just throw to a cutaway like that. Oh. Can I do this?